Hello everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of the Dark Grasper Dragon. And this particular Dark Grasper Dragon is from the Gundam SDW World Heroes line. Or also the SDW Heroes. Um, with the particular subline of the Legend of the Dragon Knight and this particular kit was released uh, this year, this year still being 2022, at least for a few more days. So this has recently come through to me from Hobby Link Japan, so I'll include a link to this particular Dark Grasper Dragon uh, as well as the wider range of SDW heroes, its um, predecessor line and possibly even the white version of this. Which, in saying that, I have actually done an unboxing of this kit as the white and blue version. So this is just basically now a probably, I want to say black and red, but it could very well be a dark blue and red. So front of the box of the Dark Grasper Dragon, sporting its very dark motif. Um, the Warlock Aegis Gundam, which I've also done an unboxing for, is actually on the dragon itself. Uh, but this little message does say that the Warlock Aegis is not included, which is understandable. So, front of the box, I will admit the artwork does look really cool. Side of the box, uh, basically a front and back and a few action poses of the Dark Grasper Dragon. From what I recall of the white version, it definitely will not look like that straight out of the box, unfortunately. Um, it will require some extra love. And just another shot of the Dark Grasper Dragon with the Warlock Aegis uh, on the back. I will admit, love or not, the colours look really cool. Other side of the box, nothing too much to worry about, so it's just really the front and that side. In terms of what's inside, I have one, so the two bags of runners and the menu. So I'll open up the bags and then we can have a really quick look at what we got, even though it's pretty much a recolor. And with everything out of the bags, here we have the front of the manual for the Dark Grasper Dragon. I've already seen the art style, so that's not a problem. Another shot of the dragon. Uh, this time more of it's a CGI line art uh, from the front with a bit of a blurb and even more usage of the Warlock Aegis. So front of the manual, um, there isn't actually much of the back of the manual. In terms of the runners, I did mention that this is just pretty much a recolor, so just A's and B's. The A's on the previous version were white and the B's were a nice uh, translucent sky blue. This time around, we're basically uh, black and red. In terms of the build, um, pretty much exactly the same as what we saw from the previous version. But I will admit, I do like the colour scheme for this one, even though, yes, there will be some extra work needed to uh, make it a little bit more um, artwork correct. But because it's red and black, it actually might be easier. Um, this step's just obviously just going through how to attach the Warlock Aegis. So that was the manual, which is just basically a bit of a variation. Um, first of the A-Runners, A1, uh, what was white is now black. And it is a very nice black. That is a very discernible black is black. So that's the A1, A2, so nothing's changed from the last time we saw this. Uh, just gone from white to black. And then B1 and B2, which I'll just do together, in that nice uh, clear red. It's a very darker red as well, but uh, very nice red nonetheless. The wings will be super cool. It will probably take a bit of effort just to uh, add in some of the black to give it some of the proper... Uh, colour separation that the artwork suggests it has. That's the two B runners. 
So that's pretty much it. That brings us to the end of the unboxing of the Dark Grasper Dragon. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same dragon like the last time. I have a card to that if anyone's curious. Uh, as well as the Warlock Aegis. Um, but yeah, it's just basically a recolor of the same kit. Uh, one for a more light color scheme, this one being a darker color scheme. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did get this from Hobby Link Japan, so there will be some product links in the description. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like or comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link below. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.